हेलो देयर वेलकम टू माई व्यूज एंड न्यूज आर टेगराए एंड अम्हारा गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ वॉर दिस इज द टाइटल ऑफ द वीडियो विच आई एम मेकिंग राइट नाउ दिस वीडियो इज नॉट अ वाइल्ड गैस इट्स नॉट दैट वी आर डिस्कसिंग समथिंग विच isn't possible uh, not remotely possible we are discussing something which is being implied by some sources and uh, some developments are happening on the ground due to which we are now discussing we are speaking on this likely scenario a likely tigray amhara war question is what are the disputes between tigray and amhara what are official positions of the two sides what is on the ground situation where is ethiopian national defense force ethiopian federal government we'll have a look at all these points one by one and then in the end i'll try to sum up i'll try to answer this question is tigray amhara war on the cards firstly uh, major dispute between tigray and amhara is obviously territorial Pretoria deal silenced guns but it could not resolve a key issue between Tigray and Amhara territorial dispute over the status of uh, southern zone raya koram western zone humaira volkait sagade Pretoria deal stated that bilateral regional inter regional disputes will be resolved through discussions political discussions gun silenced peace deal being implemented but uh, no progress made toward the resolution of uh, volkait uh, raya koram status so major dispute is territorial both regional states have claims to the two zones the two zones are under the control of amhara regional government temporary governments are working installed by amhara regional government both in raya koram and volkai there are other disputes too between them uh, one of the disputes or one of the areas of rivalry is orthodox church tigray has formed uh, tigray is going to form a separate synod it is electing its bishops uh, without approval from the main church it says main church is dominated by one ethnic group and that group is amhara so both have disagreements in the field of religion too disagreements about some other fields to about foreign policy about uh, economy security structure etc but main issue main dispute right now is territorial dispute uh, volkait raya's status and we can speak about uh, why these two zones matter for amhara or for tigray we will in some separate video what is the official position of tigray interim government what is the position of amhara government how to resolve the issues tigray interim president is in the us these days in denver he spoke he said uh, we don't want a new war all should try there is no new war in ethiopia he said we want to resolve our disputes with amhara through dialogue he said the same about uh, disputes with eritrea 
and Gata Cho visited uh, Amhara a few weeks ago. He met with uh, Yelkal, Amhara president in Bahirdar, warmly welcomed there. He was warmly welcomed there. Amhara region says the same, that people's questions about identity and uh, borders are being answered in a legal way that preparations are being made for holding of referendum. So where does Amhara region want to hold referendum? Either in Raya, Koram or in Volkaif. But Tegra's position is very clear. It has rejected the idea of holding of referendum uh, to, determine, to determine the status of Raya and Volkaif. Tegra'i wants return of IDPs. Tens of thousands of people displaced from Volkayat, uh, Raya, Koram or in Tegarai. Tegarai wants them to return to their homes. And then Tegarai wants uh, these two zones to be handed over to Tegarai. So far Tegarai is opposing the idea of referendum. And in present situation obviously referendum does not suit Tegarai because in both zones there is Amhara majority. Tegarayans expelled. That is why Tegarai wants return of IDP first. So, official position, both sides say they want to resolve the issue through talks. This is official position. What is happening unofficially? Unofficially, the two sides are making preparation for a war. Anyone who knows little bit about what is happening on the ground in Tegarai Amhara knows that the two sides are preparing for a war. In Tegarai, new recruitments underway. Tegarai fighters are deployed along Takaze. Uh, Amhara region north, Gondra administrator says three divisions of Tegarai fighters deployed along Takaze towards uh, western zone. In Volkayat, Militias being trained. Just yesterday, two days ago, we saw pictures of new militia members trained in Humara. Ramak Zadu was there. Amhara government officials there. Today, I share a picture from Raya. New militias being trained, armed there too. And what is happening in the entire Amhara region? New armed factions, new foreign factions emerging. There is uh, no regional government. Fano fighters in control of some areas, they are uh, dictating terms. They are killing regional government officials, local government officials. And they are not letting their comrades be arrested by police. So, Fano factions getting stronger, more in number, better equipped now. That is on the ground picture. But uh, statements from two sides say that bilateral issues should be resolved through dialogue. But, but the two sides fully prepared for a war or preparing for a war. Did they engage each other? Yes. Talks have been held. Uh, Yelkal visited Tegarai, Gatacho reciprocated. Apart from these visits, the two met secretly. Uh, PMRB uh, mediated meetings between Tegarai and Amhara leaders to resolve the deadlock over return of IDPs and then obviously status of Raya Volkai. Those meetings failed reportedly. So, they met, they could not agree on how to uh, rehabilitate uh, IDPs. Now, where is Ethiopian National Defense Force? Where is Ethiopian federal government? Are they averting a new Tigray Amhara war? Federal forces, or are they silent spectators, or they don't have a plan? They don't know what to do. Like they are caught in the Maharajan, they don't know what to do. 
Well, my observation is that Ethiopian federal government's plans about uh, Raya and uh, Raya Koram and Volkayet have been disrupted, if this is the right word. Plans have been foiled because of a new situation which has developed in the Amhara region. Planning was that uh, federal government was planning to back return of IDPs from Tegarai to Volkai to uh, Braya. Uh, and then the federal government was uh, in support of holding of some sort of referendum, uh, at least in one of the two zones, in, in Raya or in, in, in Volkai. But federal ENDF's plans have failed. Why? Because in the Amhara region, federal government's decision to disband Amhara special force members gave a new strength to Fano factions. Fano started regrouping. Amhara special force members joined Fano. Some ENDF members joined Fano. Fano emerged as a key player. Fano factions emerged as key players in the Amhara region. Fano fighters directly hitting Ethiopian National Defense Force, ENDF on the back foot in the Amhara region, its camps being targeted, its convoys being ambushed. Same unrest which we are seeing in Amhara region could start in Volkayet, it could start in Raya, in Koram too. ENDF knows that very well. That is why perhaps ENDF is soft when it comes to uh, tolerance to uh, militia building in uh, the two zones. Amhara region is arming, training, raising militias in both zones. ENDF is there. ENDF is silent. Why? I think ENDF fears that in Volkayet and Raya, if ENDF starts ex uh, asserting itself, uh, Fano factions, uh, militia members could turn against Ethiopian National Defense Force and things could go out of control for ENDF. That is why ENDF uh, is, I think, tolerating raising of militias by Amhara region in the two zones. So ENDF's plans about Raya Volkayet are not going to work because of the new player which has emerged in the Amhara region. Having said that, it is the ENDF which is preventing a Tigray Amhara war. Imagine there is no Ethiopian National Defense Force in Raya, no ENDF in Volkai. The day ENDF withdrew from Raya and Volkayet, you will see start of a war between Tigray and Amara regions. This is Ethiopian National Defense Force which is keeping the two parties at a distance. It is trying to prevent a war by being between Tigray and Amhara regions between their fighters. Now, coming with the main question, can we say that uh, Tegarai Amhara are going to start a new war. Well, uh, ingredients of a war are there. Uh, hate speech, though its intensity has uh, decreased, but it's still there. Mistrust, military preparations, building of a narrative to support a war. These and other in ingredients are there. Negotiations failed. Uh, outsiders involved too, by the way. Some would benefit from a Tagaray Amhara war outside Ethiopia fashion. Several ingredients are there pointing towards a potential Tigray-Amhara war. 
Now, uh, my understanding is that uh, things are not as calm as they were three months ago. Three months ago, there was no likelihood of the start of a war in between Tigray and Amharijan. Why? Because back then, Amharijan under ENDF control. There was no one to, to challenge uh, federal government's decision, likely decision about Volkayat uh, Raya Corps. And that is why ENDF disbanded Amara Special Force. Purpose was that uh, there should be no one to challenge, to oppose uh, federal government's likely decision to hand over Volkayat and Raya Koram to Tigray. But that decision backfired. Amhara special force disbandment led to uh, emergence, re-emergence of Fano factions. Now, uh, my understanding is that uh, if the issue, the dispute, territorial dispute between Tigray and Amhara regions remains unresolved, we could see resumption of armed hostilities. North Gondutur administrator Yilalam said uh, addressing the Amhara regional council members three days ago that uh, Tigray fighters were firing in some places and when uh, hundreds of uh, IDPs or people entered Salamti from Tigray escorted by Ethiopian National Defense Force there was confrontation between uh, Amhara militia members and Tigray fighters, ENDF intervened and that potential uh, collision was averted. So you see that uh, if the decision is not made about uh, future status of Raya and Volkayat in an amicable way, in a way which suits both parties uh, through dialogue, if that a solution is not found, there is no doubt that uh, we could see a major escalation between the two zones, two regional governments. Tigray will have to wait. Uh, it uh, is trying to put pressure upon the federal government and it is raising questions about the federal government's ability as well to enforce its decisions. That is what Gatacho said in, in the US that we don't know if federal government is able to uh, implement uh, its decisions or not. Federal government was in a stronger position three months ago, but it has now been weakened, especially to the extent of its control over Amhara region, over Volkayat and Raya. That is why my analysis is that there could be a major uh, confrontation, major uh, resumption of armed hostilities between Tigray and Amhara region if there is no intervention to resolve territorial disputes. Tigray will have to wait. Ethiopian National Defense Force will have to be between Tigray and Amhara parties. Ethiopia, Amhara regional government will have to be in control in the Amhara region. Otherwise, uh, we uh, could see uh, a new escalation between the two regional governments. Thanks so much.